Good day everyone, buck up in rainy far north Queensland still. Short clip today with a very, very important message everyone. I haven't told this story yet, I don't think, to anyone. It's been, it was a bit embarrassing. That's why I'm doing this clip. Last year, when Ros and I were down in Tasmania with our caravan, backtrack a bit, I used to pride myself on making sure I was in a routine, hooking the caravan up, hooking the camper trailer in, hooking the boat up, all that type of stuff. Well, we're driving along the Bass Highway last year in Tasmania. We'd already traveled about 150 k's. Hit a big, big dip. We lost the caravan off the back of the BT-50. Thank God for the safety chains that saved the caravan. However, it did nose dive into the bitumen and I stuffed the uh, DO35 hitch up on the caravan. Cost me about 650 bucks for a new one from memory. Could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for those safety chains. I had them crossed. If it wasn't for those safety chains, I would have lost the caravan, totally. I was sitting on 100 when it came off. It was, it was untidy and uh, it was a hell of a job to try and get that back on. I, I, I stuffed up the the Boss 370 uh, jockey wheel. I was up for another one of those as well. That's actually what got me out of the shit uh, with the drill to help get the caravan back on. The DO35 was damaged, but it got, to, it got me to the next town so that I could order a new one. Why did that happen? I got out of routine. I got out of routine or I got sidetracked, one of the two. I always pride myself on sticking to the same routine when I hook up, whether it's the boat, the camper trailer or the caravan when I had it. It only takes one lapse in concentration and that can happen, guys. You can lose your caravan or your camper trailer or your boat off the back of your four-wheel drive. Thank God it didn't cause an accident. It could have. It could have been a lot worse. And I'll tell you what, I learned from my mistake. So today, I'm hooking the camper trailer up. I'm going up tomorrow morning to get me old mate Kenny Hop to run his eyes over the brakes and the bearings and everything on the camper trailer. It's getting close to camping season. And I wanna run you through the procedure on what I go through to hook up the camper trailer. Probably off to a bad start already, filming while I'm trying to hook the camper trailer up. <laughs> Those two don't go together, but I'm doing a clip. If this helps someone out, buddy, it'll be worth it. You know what, the first time I hooked up the camper, uh, the caravan after I got the new hitch on last year. I was halfway through my routine. Someone come over and wanted to have a chat with me. And I felt like saying, mate, I'm halfway through my hookup. Can you talk to me later on? I didn't want to be rude to him. I probably should have said that. So don't let yourself get distracted. I'll talk more about that when I go through the hookup procedure, okay? I've got a DO35 on the back of the, B, uh, the BT50. It doesn't matter what kind of hitch you got, whether it's a normal tow ball. Get into a routine and stick to it and don't let yourself get distracted. And I'll talk you through after I do it about double checking and even having someone else check your work. You can never be too safe because the last thing we want to do is lose our, <laughs> our uh, vehicle our trailer or caravan or for our tow motor. It's happened to me and it was bloody embarrassing and it could have been a lot worse. Righto, let's get over, show you my procedure. Righto, so I'm gonna speed it up, starting to sprinkle and uh, the camera's not waterproof, everyone. So I've positioned the camper trailer over the DO35 hitch, okay? And this is my procedure, I'll talk you through it. First thing I'm gonna do is lower it down over the pin, okay? The first thing I'm gonna do, so we're we'll lowering down. It should be, it should be positioned there. You'll see the pin come out shortly. One of the disadvantage of these DO35s is you've got to be right over it uh, to get it in there. So we lower it down so it's right over. And before I go any further, the first thing you need to do is push the red button and make sure the tongue flicks out. Like that, okay? To get it off, you push it down and you push the tongue in and then you can wind it back up. 
you see him coming up there there he goes if I mean when you do unhook your trailer I won't take you through that just make sure on level ground hand brakes on keep your chains connected try and do it on level ground and use wheel chocks okay and keep your your chains connected when you disconnect I won't take you through that procedure now so right let's go let's uh, lowering back down so it's fully on there I'm gonna push the red button so the tongue comes out. That is a must. The next thing I'm gonna do then is, if I can find it, is grab my cover. Double check that tongue's out. The tongue must flick out. If it hasn't flicked out, it's not on properly okay. That's where I got on, so I got sidetracked and I didn't bloody flick that out. And it was over, but if that tongue's not out, it can come off when you hit a big, a big dip. Now these are designed the plastic caps that they will not go on unless that tongue is out. Okay, I didn't double check my work when I lost the caravan everyone, so we put that on. Sometimes a little bit hard to make sure it goes on. There, it's clicked on there now. That will not click on, the DO35 or the DO45, that won't click on if your tongue's not out. So I've double checked, the tongue is, is fully out. Now what I'm going to do is bring my jockey wheel bring my jockey wheel all the way up the right way buck get my jockey wheel up as I said someone starts coming in having a chat with you now want to have a jibber jabber say mate sorry don't want to be rude I'm in my hookup procedure I'll have a chat with you when I'm finished please so don't let people distract you I think that's what happened to me. I come unstuck. Take the handle off. Right, oh, that's up. That handle. I'll put that in the in the vehicle soon. So, a couple other things we got to do now is our chains. Okay, with a rated. D shackle there, or bow shackle, D shackle it is. Rated D shackles. We hook him up. We cross the chains. I think crossing your chains is an actual requirement in some states. Don't quote me on that. And I think, I haven't read it anywhere, I do think it is compulsory to cross your chains. Don't quote me on that one either. But I've always been taught to cross the chains, guys. I think it's the way to go. And that's what saved my caravan down in Tasmania. Right, so my shackles are done up. Double check those. Shackles are crossed. Next thing I need to do is handbrake is off. Make sure the hand brakes off. The next thing is our brake controller. Seven pin brake controller. In it goes. Make sure that's locked in. And then the next thing I need to do is hook my Anderson plug up so that the battery charge is on the way. So Anderson plug in, click that in. Okay, I've hooked up. So, next thing I wanna do is I'm gonna double check my work. The cap is on, which means that that pin is out. And I'll run you through it again, guys. Pin down, the tongue is in. That can come off now, which is what happened. I didn't click the red button. The most important thing if you've got a DO35 hitch. Click the button, make sure the tongue is out. Double check it, then put your cap on. And they are a little bit hard to get to go on. If that cap doesn't go on, you haven't clicked your, the tongue out. You haven't hit the red button. Okay. We check our chains are crossed. Our brake controller is in once we start it up. I check my brake controller, make sure it's on the right setting so it's the brakes aren't on too hard and they're not on too soft. They're just right. My Anderson plug is in. My handbrake is off. My jockey wheel is up and secure. Everything looks good. I'll grab my cap from a DO35 and my... Um, arc 750 winder magnetic handle make sure i don't leave that behind double check caps on
electric chains, get into a routine. Go around, double check, triple check your work if you have to everybody, okay? Get Roz, I got into the habit of getting Roz to check my work and that one time Roz forgot to check my work, we lost the caravan. So if you've got a second person, the missus or whatever, run her through it. You do it and then you get her to double check your work or triple check your work. You've already double checked it and then she comes along. The main thing is, is that cap is on. If that cap isn't on, there's a fair chance you haven't put the tongue out. So that's the DO35. Same for any hitch. Get into a routine and stick to it. Even if it's just a tow ball on your boat, guys. Double check your work. Don't let yourself get distracted like I did. I come unstuck big time. It could have been worse. I could have lost the whole caravan. I could have caused an accident. The caravan came off. Um, if it did fully come off, I've got the, the caravan had the safety uh, brake thing uh, there anyway. Okay, so message in this, double check your work, don't let yourself get distracted. Okay, I know we all get a bit blasé, we all get a bit overconfident, we, we, we get sidetracked. It's the worst thing you can do when you're hooking it. Yeah, I've got a, what, one and a half tons, you've got a caravan, three ton caravan behind. You don't want that thing coming off when you're doing 100 kilometres an hour. Check your work, stay safe. Hope you got something out of this clip, guys. Catch you next time, mate. Eh?